bike you see behind me is a bike I purchased not running. I've just I've just gone through the carbs on it now, so this is the first time I cranked it over. I thought I'd catch it on film. You might not be seeing this if it doesn't start. <laughs> Sounds pretty damn good to me. Getting a little bit of smoke out of that one cylinder there. I, uh, because the bike has been sitting for so long, I pulled the plugs, of course, oiled the cylinders, oiled the valves, cranked it over weeks ago just to make sure everything all the parts were moving up and down if you know what I mean now we're getting a little bit of smoke back there I don't know if you can see it in this particular light but quite often what's probably happening now uh, and if somebody put it away, they put it away because it wouldn't run very good, and so they probably loaded up the exhaust pipes full of oil and not running fuel. So now that the pipes are just starting to warm and everything off the exhaust manifolds, the header pipes, the header starting to go and cook all that crap that's in there. So this is kind of normal. I've, I've had a couple of these bikes, so kind of know what to expect. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll try a little walk around here. I have the, the camera in my tripod. This is going to be a, this is going to be a beauty here. Now, this is the mic I'm using. <laughs> this on my head and I guess I will just leave it on the uh, I'm trying to go and see where I am here between the Sun and everything now you can see a little bit of smoke there I'm trying to get that in let's rev it up a little bit here May take a little while to burn that out, but uh, she's idling pretty good now. It might be a little lean too. I still have the choke on. I've only got a couple of hands, so I'm going to try turning the choke off here. Choke's off. Well, not too bad. I'm not, I don't have the camera on anything. I'm just going to take a blind shot here. I can't see what's in the monitor. And there's Susie getting asphyxiated.
again, that smoke is kind of normal from something that's, well, I poured a lot of WD-40 in those cylinders, so yeah, that all got run down into that exhaust. But anyway, that's good news. The, uh, the motor had good compression. So now my plan is to pull that carb off, because this is going to be a, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with the bike yet. I'm going to put these carbs on another bike I have and see if that's the problem with the carbs on the other bike. Actually, a 76, 1000. This is an 1100. Everybody says, oh, don't switch, don't switch. Well, theoretically, you shouldn't, but I have them available to me, so I'll give it a try. I've done it before. I've switched. 1100 carbs and 1000 carbs and both bikes seem to run pretty good after that so we'll end this now and uh, see how it plays out